is this thing? That's pumpkin. It's like a weird looking dog. Hey. Go on, doggy. It's got some major ball bearings in it. It rotates no problem. Welcome to Homestead How. It's day 35 of being on lockdown and it's warming up a little bit although we still have some snow on the ground over there. Decided to come grill some brats and hot dogs and the goats are here to help. What do you jump for? He's scared of this. You're scared of that? He's scared of the fire. You want a hot dog? Bambi. Can he have a hot dog? No, they can't have meat. Why? You scared of this Bambi? Why can't he have meat? Why can't he have meat? Because they're not supposed to. Why? What will happen? Because they're meat. What will happen? I don't know. Maybe he'll really like it. No. Just give him a hot dog. Do not give him any. You want a hot dog? He, wa he said he wants a hot dog. He's not impressed. Just give him one hot dog. No. He's even walking away. What is this thing? That's pumpkin. It's like a weird looking dog. Hey. Go on, doggy. We got our rainwater tank all filled up. Jen, should we try to drink some of it? Well, pretty good. What's up, big boy? Don't. We don't want to do that again. We did that yesterday. You're going to be nice today. Am I allowed to sit? Apparently not. You're really proud of that goatee you got growing there. You need to work on your tail though. It's looking pretty, pretty uh, gnarly. Hey. What's the worst that could happen? Eat it. Ben decided to grill up some brats and hot dogs for lunch and we've been trying to eat better although brats and french fries aren't very good for you but we've been using this app called Fat Secret and it's pretty cool you put in exactly what you eat and it has all the calories and then it keeps track of it for you and I've been using it for three or four days now and it's been really helpful it shows you exactly how many calories you, you've used for the day and how many you have remaining for the day and then if you eat less than your allotted amount, you lose some weight. If you eat more, you gain some weight. We also had cantaloupe for our lunch, but what Carrie didn't show you is we don't waste it. So this extra stuff is going to go to the chickens, and then the outside of the pieces um, are going to be, they're cut up and they're going to go to the goats. So we don't waste a lot of food here. Quiet, so my goats don't hear me. I'm going out to our greenhouse, and I'm going to plant um, a bunch more seeds in my stuff in the greenhouse. Um, it is still really cold out even though it's sunny out, it's still pretty cold. People have been asking me or on uh, Facebook and other places, what do we do for solar panels? We have this, Carrie made this simple thing. Um, on a few videos back you can see the instructions on how to do it. He also got published into the Mother Earth monthly news letter and magazine. So if you have that you will see his article in there. Um, but this is amazing. I think tonight I might, and this is going to sound crazy, but I think tonight it's going to get colder. So I'm going to put a um, heater in the greenhouse to keep everything warm. Um, but this will keep it going. <laughs> But this will keep it going all night and then we're not going to waste any electricity. So this is getting enough sun right now that it'll go for all night. This It's so much warmer in here than it is in the spot that I have my um, seeds in the house. So I'm definitely going to put them in here. The rest of my seeds just go nuts and plant everything. So I, I would rather have more than less. All right, so Emma's in here with me. We're going to set this up and I correspond the numbers. So I'll, I'll go, I'll take some more eights, nines, tens. And then when they start to grow, I'll know what is what. Instead of having to stick something in it and know what's in it, I'll know from the number and from this. So that's the way that I'm going to take care of it and keep track of everything. So Emma's going to help me. I'm marking these 15 for pole beans. A couple of years ago when we built this greenhouse, 
we put a, a, in a contest on instructables.com and out of like thousands of entries, we won first place. And they sent us vertical garden, vertical garden. They sent us this vertical garden, which you can grow strawberries on or anything. And you can grow a lot of stuff in a small space. It's got a bunch of chicken crap on it and it's been sitting in here rotting in the greenhouse. We're gonna go set it up in the garden. Plants in all these little spots. And oh! Then, can we still rotate or is it too heavy now? Oh, it still rotates. That's pretty cool. So you can just sit here, plant, plant, plant. Jen? I like Sadie. She's nice. Come look at what Katie did. She's very interested in what's happening. Okay, Katie, this is yours now. You gotta get all these little sticks up. What is that? That's the rooster. Wow. Oh, look at this. It's got some major ball bearings in it. It rotates, no problem. We have to read the directions. I thought that you put dirt in the center and worms or something. Water, you water it, but I think you're supposed to put worms in the center. You you put too much water in it, it drips down to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, all the way to the bottom. And there's a little tray down there, which I think is where you're supposed to put the worm. Whoever gets, to, whoever's ball hits the bucket in the least amount of strokes wins. What if you get it once? Then, then you, you get a hole in one. Ah, Jeez. <laughs> Keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> you was practicing. One. No. No. That was one. No. <gasps> okay, Alyssa's on her second shot. <gasps> oh. oh. Off the wood, off the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa wins at the three. Opposition to Brexit. Croissant. The beer. What is a croissant? Good. It's a department store Santa. Elf. For this Christmas comedy. The beer. What is Elf? Yep. Soon followed. Rio Grande. The beer. What is the Rio Grande? That's the river. HD8. It's the leading cause of death of women in the United States. Heart disease. Tyler. What is heart disease? Yes. I'm going to try to be a little bit more thoughtful today when cutting down one of these trees. As you can see, I have a ton of pine trees growing in here and we need to make room for these younger trees to grow up. They're not getting any sun or anything. Ton of trees right here. This one, I'm going to try to fall this way. My number one goal is to not get it stuck on any of these other trees, which continues to happen over and over again. I got this little MS-171 chainsaw. It's my uh, carving chainsaw. I have an MS-362, which is a powerhouse. That thing cuts through stuff like butter, but I need to sharpen those chains. And um, after I cut these trees down, I'm practicing chainsaw carving, and this one works great for that. It's also a lot lighter weight, easier to limb with. So I'm playing around with this chainsaw today. Looks like most of the branches are on this side, so I... Ah. Just get, there's so many trees around, I'm just worried about it getting hung up, but let's try it. Let me get this truck a little further away.
after three or four tries, I finally get the hang of it. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. The name of our channel is Homestead How Learn With Us. We're rookies, we're not teaching you how to cut down firewood. We're learning as we're going and we're hoping you learn from our mistakes. If you watch our channel, you'll see I've made many mistakes cutting trees down. I think I did pretty good on that one. I got some good hinge wood going. I knew where it was leaning. I cut the notch right on the perfect spot. That's exactly where I wanted to land that thing. I was so scared it was gonna get caught up in the tree across from it, but that is exactly what I wanted to do. And the reason I cut that stump so high is so that I could practice chainsaw carving on it. This is a nice uh, pathway here, so when we're going for walks or hikes or we have our Airbnb guests, they like to check out all the little chainsaw carving uh, creatures. So I'm gonna limb this thing up and then we're gonna yank it out here with the truck. Yeah, that was the biggest log I've gotten yet. So I did a really easy dinner tonight. I made lasagna and just some buns. Um, just something really easy to get some more stuff out of the freezer so when we go to Walmart again, we can know what to get. Thought you wanted to help me. Thought you wanted to help me, big boy. Thought you wanted to help me. Lasagna with meat, garden salad, and then some dressing. Still at 1300, so that's pretty good. Okay, we're eating salad and lasagna for dinner. Smaller portions, counting calories. Just so be our guest and let these gifts to us be blessed. Amen. So Jen mentioned earlier, we're gonna to try to use our solar generator, which is gonna be in Mother Earth News in the actual magazine. That's pretty awesome. I think in the June issue. Anyways, we're gonna try and see if this is strong enough to run this little space heater in the greenhouse overnight um, just because it's been getting really cold at night and we want to make sure our seedlings grow. I don't know if this is going to be strong enough. It's like 1500 watts. I think it's borderline. I'm not sure this is going to work. This is 1500 watts and this is 1500 watts so it's going to be maxed out if it works and if yeah. it is it'll probably drain the battery in like two hours well why don't we just keep it on low and that do it better? which one's the low setting it's working maybe on low i don't know if low is half the wattage all right so we got this uh, little space heater hooked up the only thing is I, we have another space heater that has a thermostat on it that would have been Nicer, because what is this just going to run until the battery dies, basically? I think it goes to the battery dies, or you can set it up higher and lower here. Like, this is on maximum. You should set it on as low as you can. So the girls just read The Outsiders, the book, for school. They're still doing their schoolwork. And now we're going to watch The Outsiders, the movie, tonight. The book's going to be way better, but... Hey, that's Karate Kid. Really? 